Please rise in body or spirit and join me in our responsive affirmation of faith. We believe in an innovative God who does not wait for us to find ourselves, but comes seeking the lost and calling us to a new way of life. In Jesus Christ, God's word became flesh, walking with humanity and beckoning us to join in the journey. Through Christ's gracious acts of life, death, blessed bread and living water, we become both in creed and deed, children of the living God. Through the Holy Spirit, Jesus still comes to us, beckoning us to follow him into an obedience which is true liberty and to humble service which is the fruit of holy friendship. The church is the fellowship of Christ's people who are called to respect and support one another through joys and tribulations as we travel the road towards the promised land of God's future. With rejoicing, we affirm that God calls all people to communion with God and with one another. Amen. We affirm with our words that God calls all people to relationship with God and one another. But as followers of Christ, we won't stop there, and we can't stop there. We will affirm God's welcome with our actions, our commitments, and our very lives. You're invited to encounter the spirit of the risen Lord by serving and growing alongside this community, and you can visit secondchurch.org to find opportunities to be Christ's church at work in the world. If you're worshiping in the sanctuary, you may drop your financial offering in the offering plates in the narthex as you leave. And I invite those online to visit secondchurch.org slash give to make your financial gifts there. No matter what, there are endless opportunities to follow Jesus with obedience, service, and generosity. What should prevent us? Let's be bold in responding to the brave and beautiful movement of the Holy Spirit. Trusting that God is up to something, that God is leaning close to listen and responding. Let us pray together. God of loving kindness, Thank you for pursuing us with your steadfast love. Thank you for gathering us to be your church and bear witness to your presence and power in the world. Thank you for giving us to one another for mutual support, for spurring on in the faith, and for shared life. As we walk alongside one another on this journey, we share one another's burdens and joys and we give thanks, God, that we can bring those to you. So hear us as we lay before you the hopes and heartaches of our community. Divine Physician, we ask that you tend to the sick, strengthen the healing, and speak words of hope to those who offer care. Merciful and redeeming God, draw near to all those who grieve grant them the grace and love of community. We pray especially for the family and friends who grieve the deaths of our siblings in Christ, Don Buttry and Betsy Bickoff. We praise you for their lives, their witnesses to the gospel, and for your promise of resurrection and new life. God who created and is creating, we look to you as we attend to suffering all around us. Fire, genocide, injustice, hunger, and illness. In times like these, what should prevent us from being bearers of your promised peace? What 
could prevent us from serving others, sharing what we have and proclaiming what we know. Reshape our imaginations so we might be your ministers of the gospel in spaces that strike us as mere roadside stops, as well as spaces that seem off limits or scary. Set our sights not on that which hinders us from doing good, but instead on the possibility for our participation in your redemption of this beloved world. Make us brave. Give us a fresh boldness from the breath of your spirit so we might speak life, possibility, and promise into a world that has grown skeptical of hope. May we be brave as those who, like Philip and the eunuch, follow their curiosity about you to the point of speaking to strangers and traveling with unexpected companions. May we be bold enough to act faithfully before we have a foolproof plan, before we have it figured out, before we fooled ourselves into believing we are somehow better at being the Spirit. Help us to trust your plans, your will, your presence for every step of the journey and in every encounter. For God, we confess that Christ's arms reach out on that cross further than we would sometimes like. So when we grow bitter or resentful of those you have called us to love, uproot the hurt in our hearts, which prevents us from offering your love with generous spirits. Give us your mind, the mind of Christ. Help us build this world anew, just as we sing together now the words found on your screen and printed in the bulletin. Let us build a house. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>